Hey yo guys, what's up? It's me, Fangbanger. In this video, I'm going to be bringing you my FIFA 13 demo gameplay. I'm actually playing GI underscore Doobie from Twitter in this gameplay. It's going to be a best of three series with an ending that is not that fantabulous because pretty much... <laughs> In this game, I guess because it's so short, there's so many, it's only three minutes per half or whatnot, it makes it hard to really get a whole lot of goals in. Not to mention that we both, I guess, just have stellar defense, so it's really hard for us to score on each other. It's nothing flashy, uh, the goals are pretty alright. There is a lot of missed shots that is that are just entirely frustrating to me. I don't know, maybe it's just because of <laughs> me just trying way too hard or whatnot, but I have a lot of open shots. Most of this is going to be in the second half of the games because it was like 36 minutes for to show all three games. And we only scored in the second half, so that's all that mattered anyway. This is also going to be my question and answer video. And I'm going to just start with that. You can go ahead and watch the gameplay. Enjoy the stellar gameplay from me and Doobie while I answer all the questions that were asked of me on Twitter as of about 10 minutes ago. There's still some rolling in. Maybe I'll throw them in if I have enough time. Cool. Question number one that I'm going to answer is going to be from at Nepenthes. And this is going to be the easiest one to answer because he asked, what were all the other questions that were asked of you or that you were asked? Please answer. Well, here we go. This is my, my answer to your question. And we're going to go ahead and answer all the other questions that were asked so he can know what they were. First question comes from at that Irish kid 617 he says what's the best way to get started in building your ultimate team i.e. starting from scratch to gold etc well I am not the I guess best example of how to start an ultimate team because I've never actually started my own ultimate team pretty much in FIFA 12 I was given an ultimate team and then I was given 1.8 million coins and from there it was just you know a piece of cake so I will probably be able to better answer that question after FIFA 13 comes out because that's where I'm going to actually have to start from scratch I would say my best bet is I believe the web app comes out um, Tuesday and so Whenever that comes out, I'm going to open whatever packs they'll allow me to open. I'm going to hopefully get a good card and do some trading. If not, then the day the game comes out, I'm just going to buy a lot of packs and then start trading. I will probably start out with a bronze team just because I am better with bronze teams. And then from there, I'll move up just depending on what cards I get. Um, I would say that's your best way to start, though, because you might have to spend some of your own money, but it makes it an easier route. Uh, moving on to at Byron King nine. What made you start doing videos in separate question? Most embarrassing that's happened to you. Um, I started doing videos more so because I was more of a streamer and Ooh, that was a nice shot there. I was more of a streamer and I was into that and I got into Yaush um, on their stream team. And from there I met a guy named Tyler who was on Yash, he did most of the streaming and he was like, hey, you know, you play FIFA. There's nobody out there or there's no females out there that are making YouTube videos for FIFA. You should try it out. Um, we can get you partnered, whatnot. And I was like, oh yeah, sure. I mean, I guess I'll try it out and see how it goes. I'm not very good at making videos, but possibly I can work on it. And so that's what really got me into it. And then once I started, I was like, wow, this is a lot of fun. I've tried to do a little bit of editing and stuff. I've did montages kind of in the past, but I'm not very good at that, and I don't have a whole lot of time to get into it, so I really haven't gotten a chance. But hopefully it'll get better as I start making more and more videos, which I have been lately. Um, I have a at FIFA tank. Um, why don't you upload more Modern Warfare 2? Well, you know, I only really try to throw in some Call of Duty in there like maybe once or twice right now I'm only doing like two videos a week period so you're getting half of my time on Modern Warfare 2 and to be perfectly honest there's only so much I can show I mean nukes nukes and more nukes that's just what I have coming from there uh, maybe I can show you some banter that goes on between us and the other teams that would be pretty funny because we really like to rile people up on that game so that might be something that I do in the future but there will be tons of Black Ops 2 so I'm going to be like splitting in you know, FIFA 13 and Black Ops 2 and maybe even other games I play like Halo 4 and Borderlands 2. So just look out for that. That's going to be coming. I will be doing a lot more videos once that happens. Right now we're still in the dead zone though. There are no games out. Um, next question from at WePeeler. Why am I your favorite? Well, that is obvious why you would be my favorite YouTuber or one of my favorite YouTubers um, is because you're just funny. Like all of your videos are funny. You have great commentary. Like a lot of times I'll watch FIFA videos because um, I'm just interested in people's knowledge of FIFA and I want to know what they think of it or how well they play. I just want to see their gameplay. But with yours, like it's actually entertaining. 
um, you're always you're one of the few where you can watch it and you're kind of laugh smiling at the same time while you're doing it. So it's just like a good time. Wee Peeler videos are always a good time. Not to mention that your vlogs are insane. You vlog anywhere, anywhere. You you were I think I just watched one the other day and you were like. <laughs> And I, this was in England and whatever, and you were at some buffet and there's like these businessmen getting their food and you're vlogging the food they're getting like hilarious. Awesome YouTuber. Wee Peeler is great. Um, next question comes from, I don't know, I'm not probably not going to say this, but I'm just going to say it's Cheeky Winky because I don't know how to say his Twitter at Siraz. Um, where does your username come from? I'm not sure if I've answered this before. I know I've answered it in my streams, but maybe I don't think I have in a video. It's from True Blood, hit HBO TV show. It's about vampires and pretty much... Uh, there's a waitress called Sticky Sackhouse, and she's, like, into vampires or whatever, or at least dating one, and someone said something like, you're nothing but a fang banger on the TV show, and I thought that was just, like, amazing. Probably right after I saw that, I went, I got on Xbox, I paid to have my name changed, and I changed it to that, and then from there, it just stuck, and it's been my name ever since. I'd never be able to change it even if I tried, so that's where fang banger came from. If you ever just want to look up true blood maybe see it on youtube they've got all these kinds of videos you can see them like calling people fang bangers like it's a bad thing i mean banging va or vampires is just like amazing moving on um we've got a question from <laughs> pill pots that's what i like to call him now I th his name is phil potto and for some reason when he was in my stream one day i just was glancing at his name because that's what happens when you're in the middle of a game you can't really pay attention so I just looked over and glanced, and to me it looked like pill pots. So that's what I called him. And so that's my running inside joke with him, I would say now, is he is pill pots. And it says, what is your opinion on the word bullocks? I don't really know. I mean, it's a funny sounding word. I mean, bullocks. Um, I think in, in America we accidentally say bullocks a lot of the time because that's just what it sounds like to us. I think in my own honest opinion, I'd rather say that's bullshit because it just sounds more cool like that's bollocks or that's bullshit like I don't know there's a lot of things you guys say over the pond that just sound completely hilarious to me but you guys sound really cool saying them I just sound stupid saying them so you know to each their own tomato tomato either way whatever makes you happy let's see here we also have a D dot shifty Andrew Matthews why do Yankee doodles like yourself feel the need to take the letter U out of words and change a perfectly good language I don't know what you're talking about there I'm not entirely sure um, where you're coming at with that but I am not a Yankee doodle just to let you know Yankees in the United States are people in the north mostly you know up in Delaware New York Connecticut down here in the south we are not Yankees so you can't say Yankee doodles like yourself I know you like to call Americans Yanks but here we aren't kind with that all right you are dissing my people if you're calling me a Yankee I am a Texan and that's what you should be calling me D dot shifty get it right um, we have here, what is this, Marty Leo 92 when did you first start playing football and are you playing at the minute? Um, no, I'm not actually playing because I have, to <laughs> I have to pay attention and look at the video and be able to answer these questions. So if you're talking about the video game, no, I'm not playing at the minute. If you're talking about the actual sport, I started playing, that was my very first sport. I played it whenever I was five, whenever you're running around like a horde of just crazy animals going for the ball and nobody knows what they're doing and pretty much you really never score and if you do it's huge uh so i started then it was my first sport loved it moved on from there to baseball and from baseball to basketball and then like every other sport i pretty much played everything i even played football whenever like american football whenever i was in fourth grade and i was really into that but Middle school came around and I didn't want to be known as the big dyke, so I <laughs> pretty much switched over to cheerleading for a while, gave that up in high school, and stuck with basketball and softball, and softball was not the funnest sport. I probably should have played football or soccer, whichever term you want to use, but it was just too cold at the time of the season that they were doing it, and I just wasn't into that. Like, I didn't want to be out there whenever it was 10 degrees outside, Fahrenheit that is, if you're wondering why I'm saying when it was 10 degrees outside, because I know that's different for y'all. You Most of people who are be watching this are going to use Celsius, but uh, I just wasn't into that, and so I stopped playing football like at the age of 14 probably, and 
focus on other things. Did some intramural, like in college a little bit, which is where you pretty much get together. It was like with my sororities and we played on teams there and, you know, it was fun, but I am not, I do not play it now. I would like to, I've been looking at like leagues for people my age, which is the 24 range or whatever, it's people in their twenties. But apparently like there's all these over 30 leagues and I don't qualify for that yet. So I'm looking into it. I'll see what I can get into. I've been going out. Um, actually might put some videos up at some point if I can get some cool shots or something like that, or, you know, some goals. I don't know. It's really hard, <laughs> harder than I remember. Uh, it actually really hurts your shin and pretty much pulls your quad when you're trying to make those and you're not used to doing that. So that's what I've been doing lately. Um, so maybe hopefully I'll be able to get into that, but no, currently I don't, I don't play really not on a team. I just go out and try to practice. <laughs> Um, I have at Irish Welsh Celt in a hypothetical lesbian situation would Christy be your type? I'm, it's really hard for me to get hypothetical on being a lesbian just because I am totally straight as straight can be and I really like dudes but um, I don't know like I don't know what my type would be as in looking at girls and saying if they're pretty I mean it's just not something I'd be interested in so I can't really answer that question I hate to be the bearer of bad news but I don't know, like, if we were to compare traits to guys and girls, my traits would be that I like guys with uh, dark features and blue eyes. So if she holds those, then maybe if she was a guy, who knows? <laughs> but uh, I don't I don't really know on that one. Um, let's see. We've got at JD FIFA, do your card stats lie? No. My card stats definitely don't lie. If you've ever seen me play FIFA, that is the best card stats I could possibly have had. Uh, 99 heading, 99 cross, and all the rest is just pretty terrible. That was what I was amazing at in FIFA 12. That's probably what I'll be amazing at in FIFA 13. We'll just have to wait and see. But I am and still will always be the queen of head. And then we've got um, at MLB Blast 40, what's your favorite team, like head-to-head -head teams to use in FIFA? This will probably be my final question to answer because this is ending as we speak. Um, favorite team to use would probably be, I think I, the, most of the time if I ever did head-to-head, -head, I used Bayern Munich. And it's just because they were perfect for me. They were s powerful. I love freaking just rushing up the wings with Robin and with Ribery. And then just crossing it to Gomez. <laughs> like, the dude's a tank, and he was always wide open to do some crazy bicycle kick or head it in. So that is my favorite team, and I hope they will still be in FIFA 13. I cannot wait to see how they play. That's summing up the questions, though. This is the end of this video. It is about to be over. As you can see, we didn't actually have a winner. We got tired of tying each other, or, you know, we just couldn't finish it out. Maybe we'll do it another time, and I'll make some videos on that. But I know you saw some of those missed goals. I was wide open. Look at that right there. Bounce right off the freaking side rail. FIFA 13, already trolling Fangbanger. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching, and until next time, get Fangbang nerds.